Lovely. So we're going to talk about Vimeo for business. Do you want to move us on, Didi? Lovely. So Vimeo, um, as I'm sure many of you are aware, is kind of the, the second um, most ubiquitous video platform after YouTube. And they have recently come out um, in the last couple of weeks uh, with a new offering called Vimeo Business. And this is uh, essentially directly in competition to Wistia. So they're coming out and they've built a product which I'm sure from their perspective looks like it's going to be a reasonable competitor to, to what Wistia offers in terms of a slightly more um, you know, complex and detailed tool set for businesses who want to use video on their own website as opposed to you know, using it for, for social media purposes. Um, so Vimeo is you know, bread and butter is really the, the creative space and, and they obviously have a social network and the Vimeo Pro product is really designed for video creators who want a slightly more advanced tool set uh, to work with there. And this Vimeo business is really you know, aiming our wheelhouse, which is um, mostly for-profit businesses using video for marketing, support, sales, etc. Um, so what I thought I'd do today, um, just in case any of you have had conversations with your clients or customers about um, Vimeo business and whether this is something they should look at, is just to you know, do a very honest rundown of Vimeo business versus Wistia and talk about you know, where they offer, I think, a possibly better service than us and, and where I think we have the edge. Um, so if we can have like, the next slide, Didi, I'll run you through. Um, so you know, the, the kind of top level de detail here is that really Wistia is still a, a more detailed and more advanced platform than Vimeo Business, although I think Vimeo Business honestly does offer a very good product for, for the price. Um, so the, the main kind of difference which you're going to notice is, is with the depth and the detail in the stats. So um, with Wistia, you know, we track the behavior and the playback for every single viewer that you have. So you obviously get that data in the heat maps in stats when you are looking in the Wistia dashboard, but you can also send that data to Google Analytics or you know, HubSpot or Salesforce or any other marketing automation platform you've got and use that then to whatever purpose you particularly want to in terms of you know, setting up workflows or just measuring success. Uh, and with Vimeo, um, they do have some stats uh, data, but they don't have this level of granularity. It's, it's mostly you know, um, a stats which were brought together and benchmarked and, and kind of measured overall uh, what the performance is. But where I think they do have the edge on the analytics front is that you can segment the stats a bit better than you can with students, to be honest. So you can segment by playback location, you can segment by uh, the geography of the user or um, some demographic data as well. So it's definitely worth having a look um, and seeing what that is, but I think you'll find that you know, from an analytics efficacy perspective, Wistia still wins out there. Um, we also obviously have the marketing automation integrations with HubSpot, Marketo, Pardot, Salesforce, um, Infusionsoft, and, and a few other uh, third-party integrations. And, and Vimeo doesn't have any of this data. So if you are doing a lot of CRM work uh, in a more advanced way, then, then Wistia really has that, that edge there. Um, we have the flexible turnstile. So Vimeo Business has launched a kind of turnstile-ish feature, which I think they call email capture. And the email capture is... Um, on Vimeo is essentially just pre-roll. So you can basically gate a video of an email, but you don't get much more control than that. Whereas with Wistia, um, you know, you can actually uh, place that tensor wherever you want in the, in the timeline. So you can have it mid-roll, you can have it post-roll. And we know from our research that mid-roll email gates tend to convert much, much better than, than pre-roll ones as well. Um, there's also, you know, we offer a lot better mobile delivery. Uh, we have um, HLS and adaptive streaming, which means, you know, for whatever device you're on, you're going to be served the best quality thing that your connection can handle, whereas Vimeo tends to be um, a bit more, uh, like, uh, higher quality streams, but are delivered, you know, not cognizant of the device that it's on, so it tends to have a slow loading time. Uh, we also have more visual customization, so you can obviously change the color of the player with Wistia, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with, to match the brand. Can't do that with Vimeo. Um, and Wistia also has the automated SEO features, whereas Vimeo can actually be very problematic for SEO because uh, if you want to have your, your videos visible in the social network side of uh, Vimeo, then what ends up happening is that you can often find that your own website um, you know, finds its traffic cannibalized by the Vimeo.com pages, which is obviously uh, suboptimal, and that doesn't happen with Wistia. Um, however, where I think Vimeo do have a good feature, they do offer domain restriction at video level. So if you want to just restrict a certain video to uh, yourself and partner sites, you can do that. And I think the feature is a bit better there than it is with us. Um, and also, uh, you know, they offer a price point which is six hundred dollars a month a, a year, sorry, which is obviously you know really really good value I think to the product they offer. And you know, it does tend to come in a couple hundred bucks cheaper than Wistia for a, for a similar level plan. Um, so I hope that's useful. And, and you know, I want to be fairly honest about you know our values and, and where we think we can improve, but I still think, um, for hopefully for most of your clients, that 
the WIST is going to be offering a slightly better uh, and more robust tool set and, um, and platform to, for you to be using uh, for video on your website. Thank you, Didi. Back over to you.